Hello, my name is Gavin and I work for Universal Skills Group. Today we're going to do the second test in our series on testing, which is called Continuity of Protective Conductors, including Main and Supplementary. So if we look at our fuse board here and our installation, we can see that we've only got main bonding. It's very rare to have supplementary bonding nowadays, especially with the use of RCDs. So we have main bonding. We can presume this is a water pipe. It could be a gas pipe. Anything that we call extrinderous, which means it comes in from outside and brings in a potential, usually a zero potential, needs to be bonded, needs to be attached to earth. So that means when there's a fault, there is no dangerous potentials across two items. It protects your heart, essentially. That's what we're protecting, is your heart, okay? I always do the bonding first before I move on to the radial circuits. That way I know I've done it and I'm, I'm not gonna forget it. So, as I said, let's do our water pipe. So first of all, we've got our MET here, main earthing terminal. That's where all your earths will go, okay? So that's there, and then the other end is up here. Okay, so that's the cable we're gonna test, and we're gonna test it's continuous. So there's two ways to test continuity. We have test method one or test method two. And for bonding, it's obviously the easiest way, is test method two. You know, that's what we're gonna do for bonding because we've only got one cable, so we haven't got a line. So we can't do an R1, R2. We just need to check that this cable is continuous from here to here. So you can buy a lead to test it. It's called an R2 lead, and it's, it's basically just a long lead that you unreel, and you, you go between the two, you zero the lead to get out the resistance of the lead itself, and then you're just left with the resistance of this cable. So you can buy an R2 lead. Personally, I just use my normal extension lead, uh, that I use for my tools, and then I just zero the value of that. Remember, the test is called continuity of protective conductors, including main and supplementary. So all we're doing now is the main bonding. So I like to start at the MET here, and personally, I've always taken my main protective bonding out of the MET when I do my test just so I haven't got any parallel paths. So let's remove that. Good, there we are, that's removed. Now remember, I've got my GS38 approved meter here. So GS38 is just the standard, it's free to read online if you wanna download it and, and have a look at it. But it's just to make sure that you your meter's safe, so your test leads for instance. Just always have a look over them. You know, you throw your tools on top of them, they become damaged. Just, just make sure they're not damaged every now and again. The probes, make sure the tips aren't too long. Okay, so your test equipment has to be GS38 approved. This, this test equipment is, it's nice and safe to use. I feel comfortable using it. So, for this test, I've already said it's uh, called continuity of protective conductors, including main and supplementary. So therefore, we're gonna set our meter to continuity. So let's turn it on. Let's turn it on, there we go. Now the first thing I need to do is to zero these leads to make sure they're not in the reading. So I'm gonna put my leads together hold them together and it's set to null and you can see the resistance there is zero, zero. So I've, I've got rid of the resistance of these two cables. Now, I'm gonna put a clip on there. Ideally this would be better with two clips. But I'm gonna put one of my, two clamps should I say, one of my crocodile clamps on there and then I'm gonna put the other end right on the pipe so I know it's hitting the pipe. Okay, so I know this connection here is good. Then I'm gonna press a, the meter and it's actually come back at zero, zero, zero. Now, why that is so low 
is because we've got such a short length of cable there. The meter's come back and it said we've got a reading, is zero, 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 is actually zero, zero, point one. It's just such a small reading that the meter can't display it because it's a big cable and it doesn't go very far. Therefore, the resistance is extremely low. The meter said it is there, but I can't display it. In real life, you're going to have 10, 15 meters of cable, so you will come back with a, a reading on, on your meter. Okay, But it has told me it's continuous, that's the main thing. So I know this cable goes from here and it terminates here. I know that is bonded, that's the main thing. Must put this away straight away. Do not forget to put your main bonding away. Okay. So I've done my water and if I had gas, I would do gas. And as I said, if they're not, it's quite easy here because they're next to each other. In a normal house, what you would do is you'd get one of these leads, you connect it to the green cable that I call the R2 cable that you buy, and you put it in between, and then you just zero it. So again, you're just going from there to there, but the, you've made this cable longer, and you zeroed it and removed the resistance. Okay, um, there we are. That is continuity of protective conductors only just at this point doing the main bonding. So you'd have to do that for the water, gas, anything else that comes in, structural steel, oil, etc. Okay everybody, thank you. That was um, the first part of continuity of protective conductors, main and supplementary bonding, and we're going to do the rest of the videos moving forward. So please like, subscribe and hit the bell Many thanks.